Good morning, my friends. This is Gordon Sullender coming to you from the beautiful Phoenix Park in Dublin. I live about a 12 minute jog from here and I do most of my training runs here uh, every morning when I get up and uh, it's really a wonderful place to it's it's lovely green a lot of lovely green um, scenery and uh, duck ponds and uh, people cycling and people running and uh, many deer many deer uh, uh, that live near here so we um, we're, we're doing the uh, Chicago Virtual Marathon Experience, and uh, I've had a, I've had a, a lot of uh, interesting uh, marathons over the years I've run. This will be my 39th full 26 mile run, 26.2 mile run, and um, I'm wearing the T-shirt from um, a run called the Dingle Marathon, which is uh, a very hilly course here in Dub in uh, Ireland in, in County Kerry. And uh, I did that race about six years ago, and uh, I've done uh, done the Dublin Marathon 12 times. I did it last uh, last October uh, in a time of three hours 30 minutes and 10 seconds. So uh, I don't anticipate that my time uh, for this virtual marathon will be quite that low. But uh, I have uh, I have been training. I, I did a, an 18.6. 18.7 mile run just uh, just a couple weeks ago uh, as a uh, sort of my long run leading up to this race and uh, uh, I'm doing it uh, for the Chicago uh, Marathon virtual experience for two reasons one um, it's one of the six Abbott's world majors and uh, I was anticipating uh, actually doing it in Chicago but uh, unfortunately uh, the uh, because of the COVID restrictions, uh, a lot all the major races were, were turned into virtual marathons this year. And uh, secondly, I lived in uh, Medina, Illinois, a lovely suburb of Chicago, back in the year 1980. Medina Country Club is where I actually worked as a tennis professional. And uh, Medina is very, very famous. It's one of the top top three or four golf courses in the United States. And uh, They've had uh, over 10 or 10 or 12 major, major U.S. championships there in uh, in that country club in the last uh, the last 45 or 50 years. Most recently, they had the 200, 2012 39th Ryder Cup matches there at Medina, and Tiger Woods has had a lot of success on that course. It's, it's a very long and a very narrow, very narrow fairways and extremely long course. And uh, because he's so long off the tee, and because he's uh, so good on the greens, which are lightning fast there, he, uh, he managed to win the uh, 2006 PGA Championships there, uh, shooting 18 under for, for the four days, and winning by five strokes. He also won the 1990 uh, U.S. Open, which was held at, at Medina Country Club. So I, I was blessed to live there on that beautiful uh, country club, and on the grounds of that club for three uh, three months back in 1980 and I actually got to play uh, the, the third course number three which is their uh, championship course twice with one of their, their uh, lovely golf clubs there so I'm getting ready to do my run this morning folks and uh, I, I will be uh, I won't be able to carry this camera with me as I go so uh, I, I'll try to pull it out as I come down the final stretch to give you a look at my uh, my final final kick to the finish so uh, I hope you have hope you have a good weekend, and uh, I'll be back with you again in a, in about another three three hours and forty minutes. God bless. Hello, folks. I'm down to the last three quarters of a mile, and I should be coming through in about three hours and thirty-five minutes. Good time, considering I didn't have anybody pace me or help me to inspire me I'm going to uh, I'll keep filming this last half mile or so but it's slowing me down to talk to you 
and to hold this camera so please know that I'm doing this for all of you viewers and for Crossroad Runners there's a charity in Chicago connected to Old Saint Old Saint Pat's Church for which I'm running this race there aren't many people running this morning Finishing pretty soon. Say people, I'm very tired, but I'm very glad to have run my 39 full marathon. God, God has really blessed me with a good heart and, and a lot of endurance over the years. I've only had one small injury, small fracture, stress line, hairline fracture one of the small bones of my foot that was when I was training for my second Boston Marathon say an Irish citizen. Coming down the home stretch now folks. Won't be long now. I'm gonna pause so I can sprint the final way. Thank you. Here it is folks. I finished. This is the uh this is the mile marker. Yeah, that that zero is where I, where I started my run. And uh, sorry, this is where I started the run, and this is where where I finished. The uh, the distance from from the gate on Cunningham Road to the gate in Castle Knock of the Phoenix Park. If you go just a tiny bit past the Castle Knock gate. To a, a marker there uh, that's uh, near some bike uh, bike stations, bike parking stations. If you do that distance once, it's 2.62 miles. So to run back and forth from from the uh, from the two gates ten times, you do 26.2 miles. So that's how I was able to uh, chart my course. And uh, my finishing time, as you can see on my my phone is uh, three hours, three hours and 35 minutes and 30 seconds for a pace of eight minutes and 13 seconds a mile. So thank you, Lord, for helping me to do another, another full marathon. And by God's grace, 
I'll make it to 50. I've got 11 more to do in order to reach the 50 marathon mark. And I hope to do that when I'm 64. As the Beatles say, when I'm 64. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And this will be posted on uh, GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ, which is my YouTube channel. So I um, hope thank you for watching my YouTube channel and thank you for supporting Life Runners Ireland and Brothers in the Hood, my two Facebook pages. God bless you.